Welcome, Welcome back, back Gators. Gators. This is Gator Feed 44. We have some Gatorific segments planned for you today. Hope, Hope you enjoy. enjoy. I'm just a girl. Of course I love shopping. What is that? You haven't seen that trend? Nope. Let's go see some of our Gators do it. I'm just a girl. Of course I do pre-shower makeup. I'm just a girl. Of course I'm always getting in trouble in class for putting on makeup. I'm just a girl. Of course everything showers are my favorite. I'm just a girl. Of course I have hundreds of lip glosses. I'm just a guy. Of course I don't know what they're talking about. In honor of Gage's 60th anniversary, we each painted tiles and did a competition. Let's go see who won. What up, boys? Today, we are doing another Bob Ross lesson. So, I'm your host, Bob Ross, and here we have contestants. Yeah. Say your name. Oh. Not you. Bob Ross. Okay. And? Giselle. Ross. Yeah, Giselle Ross. Giselle Ross. And I'm? And I'm Ryan Ross, and I just finished, and I think I'm going to win. John so, Ross. Um, Bob Ross is not winning. Um, I'm, no, I'm Bob Ross. I'm the host. Bob, I'm hosting. Bob Ross's monkey wasn't good. Okay. Um, so here we have Giselle Ross. Alright, so now we I'm here with I'm Bob Ross and I'm here with Yep. Okay. This is Riley and he, <laughs> he's gonna be judging all of our um uh our our interesting pictures. Well <laughs> Well that one's not very good. This one looks too like that one. And no. the other one's better. No. No. You go with the, the you go with the monkey. <laughs> Let's see. That one? No. Hmm. No. This one. Who's this one? Say it's mine. I don't know whose this is. It's mine. Oh, it's hers. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what your teacher's least favorite and favorite part about their job is? Yeah, I think about it sometimes. Well, let's go see what they said. I'm here with... Mr. Bozek. And I have a question. What's your favorite and least favorite part about being a teacher? Uh, my favorite thing about being a teacher is, uh, as an art teacher, I get to see all this really cool artwork that my students get to create, and I get to watch them grow in talent, and it's awesome. My least favorite thing is doing interviews for Gator Feed. I'm just kidding. No, in reality, I, uh, I would say, you know, the punishment aspect of being a teacher, which I don't really enjoy doing. I like to have more fun than some of the negative stuff. But, you know, it, it's all good. I enjoy my job. Thank you. Hi, I'm Giselle. I'm here with. Hi, I'm Mr. Rasputic. Um, what's your least and most favorite part about being a teacher? You know, my favorite part of being a teacher is definitely seeing you guys grow. You guys grow so much in just two <laughs> years. And it's, like, just intellectually, you guys go from being... A little lost, not going to lie, to just knowing everything pretty much. Yeah. And My least favorite thing is probably having to get kids in trouble. Like, yeah. I hate having to do it, but, you know, someone's got to be the mean guy, right? What subject do you teach? I teach world history. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Here with? Oh, Miss Hernandez. And I have a question for you. What's your favorite and least favorite part about being a teacher? Favorite part about being a teacher is when... A student learns something new for the first time and it's like whoa like their minds are open and new possibilities and what I don't like about being a teacher is taking work home with me and that's it and what subject do you teach science science yes thank you okay, you're welcome. I'm just on here with Miss Sesser and what's your least and favorite part about being a teacher um, I really love 
teaching all the kids. They're great, they have great attitudes. Um, my least favorite part about teaching a teacher, being a teacher, is probably all the paperwork. I don't like doing all that yucky paperwork. <laughs> and what subject do you teach? I teach world and U.S. history. Thank you. I'm here with Ms. Dendrewski Nguyen. And I have a question for you. What's your favorite and least favorite part about being a teacher? Um, I would say that my favorite part of being a teacher is to help students reach their goals and their college dreams. Um, that's why I'm an avid teacher, to make sure that they are successful in reaching what they want to do in the future. And then my least favorite kind of goes with that is that um, I just, when I see students that are unmotivated or undetermined, um, it just kind of um, hurts my heart because I know that um, students can do it and just having that, try to push them to do that. So it kind of goes in balance in that way. Thank you. Have you ever wondered what a day in the life of a teacher is like? Yeah, I've always wondered that. Well, Miss Janky did it. Let's go check it out. I'm here with Mrs. Janky. And is it hard being a teacher at Matthew Age Middle School? Some days are definitely harder than others. Do you have anything to help keep you and your students organized and help your students learn a little better? Yes, for me, I always come to school planned and prepared, and I usually plan backwards, so I look at the end goal, like if there's a test in, like, say, three weeks or two weeks, I backwards plan so that I make sure that we have enough time to not only learn it, but to practice it. And most importantly, I look at standards that they should have known from, like, fifth and sixth grade. And um, for the students, they all have their own math notebook, and this is used to help them take notes. It houses their notes, and they're allowed to use uh, their notebook on test and quizzes because I realize math is something that uh, sometimes students really understand what to do, but they forget the steps to do it in, and they're allowed to use their notes to um, help solve their problems and to help organize their thoughts. It's kind of like a graphic organizer for like how we use that in writing and like writing an essay this helps them solve their math problems thank you okay. okay so something that we do at the beginning of the year is I spend a lot of time getting to know my students and building relationships and in my class we don't necessarily have rules but we have a social contract and that's basically just how we want to treat each other and how how they want me to treat them and how I want them to treat me and we basically agree on the golden rule like to treat others how you want to be treated with respect with kindness um, everyone should feel comfortable everyone should feel included and everyone it should be a safe place uh, people should be okay to fail in my class and learn from because we learn from our mistakes especially in math hope you enjoyed today's segments see you later Gators